Well, the uh, idea of uh, the firm uh, came up so many years ago. Um, it actually started uh, some 27 years ago when, after Shoinka got the Nobel Prize, uh, some people felt that Nigeria ought to do a lot more uh, for him. And um, one of our TV houses uh, at the time decided to do an adaptation of one of his uh, works. And at that time, I think uh, the choice was a different book. And somewhere along the line, I was brought into the project. And um, so when we now began working on the other one, we realized that the political import of the book was so strong that if they didn't do something, because that TV organization uh, is owned by the government, uh, there was no way they could go ahead with the project. So that's how uh, Better Wisdom directed them in the way of Ake. Ake, of course, is a book written by Wally Shoinka, I think published around 1982. It tells us the story of Nigeria during that period, which was the political, the colonial era. And um, one of the frontal issues, um, a very, very important chapter of Nigeria's history, uh, is the Egba women's riots led by Fela's mother, Mrs. Fumilayo Ransom Kuti. And of course, uh, Wally's mother was one of the women that led the riots against tax. So that's why today, all over Nigeria, women don't pay poll tax. And the women can also vote, because before that riot, it was not possible for Nigerian women to vote. So Wally was a child, and uh, that movement actually started with some kind of campaign to get women to learn how to read and write. Because people felt that if you could re read and write, of course, it put you in a much better stead in the way things were going. So the event of women being molested by the local police and all that for tax led to anger rising up, which uh, um, led eventually to the riot of 1945. So Shoinka was there, he saw everything. Uh, Shoinka was a child at the time, and um, so he saw everything and documented everything in that book, Ake. So he was actually a teacher in the women's uh, movement. So it's very, very affectionate. It's a story that touches the heart. And of course, it's a story that many of us can identify with because people who went to school, yeah, people who were, uh, whose parents were teachers, people whose parents uh, collected strays because you find a lot of strays in the family, people coming, uh, relatives and all that. So it's a very, very affectionate family kind of uh, epic. So the decision to do a film of the book is easier said than done because it's so huge. Our budget was uh, almost half a billion naira. And um, we felt that with Shoinka's very big name, and we got him to actually attend a media uh, conference uh, which, in which we also had some of the adult cast and crew uh, coming along. Uh, we felt that all the organizations in Nigeria, both uh, corporate organizations, industrial organizations, would fall over themselves to finance the project. We found that it was not going to work like that, of course. So uh, it was a lot of very hard work uh, getting the finance. And one of the things we did was to also get people who could support, you know, uh, not by giving funds, but also by supporting in kind. So we had to raise funds, we had to do all kinds of things. And uh, eventually, we began filming uh, just around two years ago. And most of the filming was done by the end of last year. And they were just finishing with the post-production. The, the response to the trailer has been quite affectionate, has been quite um, amazing. Um, you see, because um, no matter how highly you thought your values were, no matter how much you think, you've done or you've gone in terms you know, of uh, trying to make sure that the pictures look right and that the content is very well organized. There's a lot of compositing as well. Uh, there are 3D you know, elements which has fooled a lot of people. Uh, there are things that some people didn't know were not real. I know that and it's, I think it's, it's the first time to the best of my knowledge that anybody is trying to use such um, innovations and all that. So we had a feeling that the reception would be good. 
but not any, anything like what we've seen in the, in the, in the last uh, four or five days that the trailer actually came out. So it's been very, very um, amazing. A lot of people have sent comments, uh, things, super, superlatives like um, very, very lovely, oh, this is wonderful, this is cool, even from the UK, from the US. Uh, the first one is that, of course, the film is as good as ready. Uh, that's good news because it is not possible for us to do the trailer without getting all the various elements of the film in place. So, if we so choose, the film can be out in two weeks, even in two days from now. So, the film is intact. The other thing is that we have to listen to those who know better in terms of marketing. It's our very first feature film. We've done documentaries in the past, we've done all kinds of things. Uh, but uh, again, Ake is not the usual movie. Ake has, uh, if you like, some kind of educational import. So we need to think of how to actually navigate schools around the world. The other thing is that Ake is global in outlook. Ake has been read, you know, the book has been read by millions of people around the world. You know, so we are aware of the magnitude of what is actually uh, in our hands. And uh, so we are trying to listen to people. We have to carry the author, Professor Shinka himself along, who has been very supportive, I must say. Uh, we have so many friends around the world. We have some in California who have been waiting for the uh, trailer. And they have been very happy with what they've seen. So then, of course, in Nigeria, you know, the shifts of the polls uh, has also impacted on our plans. So we hope that in, in the next two, three weeks, we'll be able to come out with a, um, a real agenda of how the film will go around.